In this video, I will demonstrate how the centrifuge machine works. In my previous video, I have mentioned that this machine works on the principle of sedimentation that is under the action of gravity. The denser particles or the heavy molecular weight particles will settle at the bottom called as pellet and the less denser particles will settle at the middle and the least dense particles or the lighter particles will settle at the top called as supernatant and that is how we extract different components of the fluid you see in these vials a mixture of two components are there white flow and water so after this process of centrifugation we will find that the white flow will settle at the bottom called as pellet and the liquid uh, water will settle at the top called as supernatant first turn on the machine and you see a visible light the indicator light is glowing it means the machine is turned on now I will put the centrifuge tubes inside this uh, rotor or inside this vessel around the central axis here I have placed these two vials opposite to each other otherwise it will create problem because we need to maintain the balance so placing these two vials or the tubes opposite to each other now I will close the lid now this knob this is the speed control knob and this is the timer speed control knob I have kept in low mode and the timer I just give it for 3 seconds 3 minutes you see so these two tubes are spinning around this central axis now once it is done I will again open the lid and take out the centrifuge tubes you see the white floors or is found settled at the bottom as pellet and the water or the liquid component is found at the top so this is how we do centrifugation to extract DNA to extract different components of the cells for our desired experiments